Today we're going to do um, the drawstring pant. This is the finished product, just so that you can get a view of what you actually will be making. It has the drawstring up here and it has the elastic in the back and two pockets. First, to begin with, we're going to prepare the pocket to put it on the back of the pant. So this is your pocket. So what you need to do is fold the top down the seam allowance, which is um, three centimetres, and then fold it under one centimetre and give it a press and then fold the rest of them in one centimetre. This just makes for easy sewing, like so, and then pin. Pin as many times as you wish, as you need to. Right, and now I'm going to stitch it. So I'm just going to stitch this part here, give it a, a stitch across. Actually, this way. What was the movie there? The thread? The thread. Ah. Need to pull the thread. Hold the thread. I find holding the thread when you first start off is a wise move because sometimes it bunches. You may be able to see it's bunching here. So then I'm going to pin it onto the pant, the back leg of the pant. I've got one here already pinned just to show you how to do it. You'll notice that there is on your pattern a couple of points here that have been marked with a black, um, you can mark it with a pen or a marking pen. Um, a biro or you can use a dressmaker's pen, pen but these two marks are the position that help you to position your pocket. This one here is usually around six mil you place your pocket six mil above and six mil out and that way you cover your mark. And then pin it around as you as you need to. So going to this okay. one. Oh, you're gonna set it up on that one? Okay. Do you want me to? Yeah. I can. So setting it up on this one, it's there again. This one here was six mil to the side seam. So on the side seam, which is the opposite side we're going to use the marking six mil above and six mil out so the corner should be round about here Fold it under, 
pin it in various places. So we ironed those folds beforehand to make it, but uh, Justine showed in the previous video that if you just ran your fingers across it as well, yeah. with a linen, that works. There's many ways Is there? that What's you can way? crease it because you can run it across the, the side. Do you want to show that again? You can what? You run. can fold it wherever. You can fold it here and then just run it across the edge of the table or the edge of the machine and that gives you a finished bit of a better idea of just folding it. Fantastic. It just sits better at this end as what it does on this end. Yeah. You can use a ruler, you know, anything you've got handy, your thumb, just to flatten it out. So now I'm going to stitch these. pocket on the pan this is the top of the pocket the opening and I'm going to stitch up from this direction up to here go over three uh, stitches to the side and then stitch around all the pocket come back over here and stitch down here you don't stitch across the top because that's the opening all right defeats purpose <laughs> of the pocket <laughs> yeah. So also what I'm going to do, if you can see, this little area here, I'm just going to push it underneath. So I don't have the raw edges putting their little noses out. All right, and then I'm going to start. What's your stitch length are we using? Are we using the 2.5? Yes. With your needle in, raise the pant. Until it's laying straight. And the two stitches or three stitches, I'm doing three. And lift the, le um, the foot again and turn it all the way back. So the pant leg is down here and I'm going to stitch down this side. Wow, it's really hard to see the edge of that pocket. That's amazing. I'm going to stitch it down and then turn. I love pockets. At the point. You can stop it right on the point and turn it. Remembering to keep your needle down.
So at this side I'm going to do the same reinforcing stitch Did on the other side? Um, I will. I have. Yeah. Yeah. Just tuck it under and make sure it's away. Mm -hmm. Pull it towards you. Three stitches. And on an angle, take it down to around the same area as the opposite side. And then a couple of stitches back. And there's your pocket. Okay. Yep. Now for the second pocket. Again, push that little edge under. stitches across down to the tip of the pocket making sure that all other pieces of fabric are not caught up underneath too far away. I'll take it back, do one stitch more and then turn it. Up to the tip of the pocket again, pushing that little edge underneath. Three across. And then down. Okay, so that's both pockets completed. Mm -hmm.